Hey guys, Trunk here. We're going to put a articulating bracket uh, for a ring sight on this Kugi Fuel. Um, we basically are limited to putting it right here, so that's where we're going to put it. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taping the template on. I'm going to make sure that on any helmet there's generally like a little lip here, so I want to make sure I clear that lip. So we're going to tape this template on, like so. I'm going to start with the two front screws and then do the last, the back screw last. Um, I personally like to take off this Velcro so I clear it out of the way. So the way I found easiest way to found to do that, actually this one clears it so we don't have to take it off. But you generally want to make sure that Velcro is not in the way. Uh, next thing we want to do is more or less uh, kind of set this, the position of our drill bit. So I'm going to just go ahead and put a little dot. Uh, you could use a hole punch if you want to, um, a punching tool, uh, but I'm just going to use my knife because that's what I got right here. So I'm going to punch it. I'm going to drill a pilot hole first and then work our way up to the 5.30 seconds. Uh, so I'll just grab a small drill bit. Again, I want to make sure that there's nothing inside. Double check it. We only get one chance. So we're just going to start slow. Okay, get on this guy. Looks like it moved up just a smidge on me. All right, my 530 seconds drill bit is really tall, so we're gonna start with something just a little bit smaller than that. We'll go ahead and drill it. Drill this. Okay, and then we're going to move up to the 530 seconds. And then, uh oh. And my drill bit's about, drill is about to die, which sucks because my other battery's dead. Anyways, so I got, <laughs> so I got uh, these two front holes. Um, drilled. I'm going to take my knife. This is a scalpel. I'll take an exacto knife. And I'm just going to take off that little lip there so it doesn't crack the paint. Um, and then we're going to do that on the back side too. Sorry. Same thing. Just kind of taking off that brim. So the screw has a place flat to, to sit. You can fill it with her fingers and it's nice and clean. All right, so now I am going to grab the screws. So there's two white screws, two black screws. I don't believe Terry has updated the instructions, but they're both nylon. A lot of people say that we've included metal screws and these are actually nylon. Um, but we're gonna put the white screws in the front. So, Moment of truth. And honestly, if you mess this up and you're off a little bit, you can just ream out the, the hole just a smidge and it's totally fine. So we're gonna grab our plate. I'm just using this as a place to put my helmet. And I'm going to put the screw in. Uh, one thing I noticed about these nylon screws, you wanna back out the screw a little bit. You wanna back it out until it sits and then you wanna Start tightening it in. It should go in nice and easy. If it's not going in nice and easy, you know you're uh, you're cross-threading it. So take your time there. Put it in. I like to kind of put it there, back it out a little bit, kind of let it sit into the hole, and then tighten it up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this pretty much all the way up. So you can go like that. Okay. So it still has some flex in it. Maybe a little looser than that. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to try to figure out where that back hole goes. And the trick I found is to grab some clay or, I mean, whatever, something sticky. I, I bet you could even use gum, but it's going to be kind of a mess. But I just grab some clay, 
I put it down on the helmet and I just press it, okay? And what I've done now is I just made an imprint of where this hole lies. You can see where the hole is, okay? Or where the hole should go. Um, so now I'm gonna back out those screws. I know you spent all that time screwing this in, but just unscrew it, okay? Uh, take those, put that away somewhere so you don't lose them. Okay. And then we're going to go back and use the punch in the center, probably about right about there. That looks about centered to me. Okay. Um, grab like a pipe drill bit. Okay, we're gonna pray that our drill is actually going to survive. There's one little hole. Okay, and then we're gonna do five thirty seconds. Okay, and does it make it? Oh my god, it made it! Cool. Ha ha! So awesome. We actually made it. Clean off that. We're gonna clean out the clay from this guy. Put it right down. Okay. Cool. And now we're going to all screw this all back together. I always start with the front and then work my way back. Um, so we're going to grab from these. Um, you could definitely tighten these nylon screws out too, way too tight. So we want to make sure that we're not over tightening them because they will break. It's the nature of the beast. We want them to break in case we have entanglement. But we don't want to. Um, we don't want to do that when we're screwing them in. Obviously, so I got one in. Washer goes on. Okay. Two. Kind of loose again. We're gonna have right there. I'm gonna grab our black screw. So just a tad shorter. So these goes towards the back. Now, if you break one while you're installing it, feel free to use this on the front. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna make it not work. But uh, generally, I like to put the white screws in the front and the black screws in the back. Um, and then we're gonna just snug these up. Uh, we don't want to use any Loctite or anything on on these. We just want to make them nice and snug. I would say probably about that much tension. You can see how much tension I'm putting on, like. You don't want it, like when you feel it, like the screw pulling apart, that's when you want to stop. Okay, that's about good. So that's a fully installed articulating bracket mount. 